Hi, Dr. Jill Krista here, author of Break the Mold. My friend Evan and I have a little story to share with you guys. He and his family came to visit my house and everybody respectfully took off their shoes. The entryway of my house started to smell pretty bad. <laughs> And I'm not talking stinky feet. I'm talking swampy. We narrowed it down to Evan's shoes. He agreed to let me send his shoes in for science. He also agreed to let me videotape him describing what, what the problem was and what we learned. So here's Evan. So Evan, tell us about your shoes. Um, so these got super, super wet and uh, um, they got wet from a local baseball game and it was raining really hard and they got they got wet it was kind of flooding a little bit so they canceled the game and about maybe a week later um they started to smell a lot not like the not like feet smelling like the body odor but kind of like smelling maybe kind of like mold so we're gonna we're gonna put them in a lab we're gonna test them see if they have attracted mold we're gonna document after we're gonna mm -hmm. document the results and then probably after that just dispose of them. How long have you had those shoes up to that point? Uh, probably a solid year. Okay. A long time. And they didn't stink like this before they got wet? Mm -mm. I mean, they they did smell like, you know, how like feet, like sweat, but they don't they don't smell like they do currently. It, like now it's a strong, grassy, wet, kind of unnatural smell. So. Okay, all right. All right, so we'll send it in for testing and then uh, stay tuned to everybody. Okay. Okay. So Evan, what did you find in the lab tests on your shoes? So apparently they tested the shoe and uh, I had a hundred times, a hundred or some times safer than human, than safe human level. Mm -hmm. What kind of things did they find on the lab? Did they find any mold or bacteria? They they said some like two bacteria and some fungi. It mm -hmm. says some it says right here. Um yeah, fungi and two bacteria. Yikes. And how long were your shoes in the water? Um well yeah, they were we went to a Mallard's game, so it was probably maybe about one or two hours. Mm-hmm. We had to run back to the car and run out of the stadium, so. Okay. And they never really got dried out, right? Yeah, no. They just, like, kind of soaked it all up until they just got air dried. Okay. Did they ever dry all the way? Um, they were still a bit damp. Okay. Up till when you took them to the lab, they were still a bit damp, but, I mean, they were kind of dry. Kind of dry. Mm -hmm. And of the, um too high for human exposure. What exactly was that? That was, was it the, um, the actual bacteria or was it some of the toxin that the bacteria were, um, um emitting? <laughs> well, the feet, the feet are the most absorbing part of the human body and mm -hmm. there was a lot of toxins releasing from the bacteria. So, so it's getting into your body through your feet. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Resulting in allergies and stuff. Yep. All right. Thanks for letting me test your shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty unbelievable, isn't it? He was getting more exposure through his shoes than you could get from a water damaged building on the most absorbable surfaces of his body. Parents out there, if your kid's shoes are smelling swampy, they're a health hazard. Throw them away. Don't donate them and give that problem to someone else. Throw them away. Get them new shoes. If your kids' are, shoes are smelling kind of swampy and you're seeing fatigue problems, sleep issues, attention issues at school, um, frequent infections, that actually could be because their shoes are lowering their immune system and making them sick. Crazy. All right, I hope you guys found this was helpful. We'll keep doing science experiments as they enter my my world. <laughs> I can't seem to help myself. All right, thanks for listening. I hope this is helpful.